hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well and staying safe today i want to share with you two mirrored wall decor ideas i created these two diys were inspired by two wall decor pieces that i came across on pinterest so i decided to create my very own versions So first I'm going to be taking some tumbling tower blocks and I'm just going to be gluing five of these together in a line and I'm going to be creating eight of these. Now I'm going to be taking these and I'm going to be gluing them in a way to create a square just like that and using wood glue to glue these pieces together. Now once that piece has dried, I'm just going to take four more of the wooden blocks and I'm going to be gluing those to each corner. And you want to try to get those as straight as possible. Now I'll be gluing down the second frame to the top of my wooden blocks. Now taking some recycled cardboard, I'm just going to trace out the bottom of my frame and cut two pieces out. Now taking one of these hooks, I'm going to be inserting that into one of my cardboards and gluing that down and then securing both of the cardboard pieces together. I'll be taking some mirror reflective paper and I'll be covering my cardboard pieces. I'll be using this black chalk paint to paint my frame. Taking some strong adhesive, I'm just going to be gluing down my cardboard pieces to the back of my frame. And allowing that to dry for about one to two hours. And I'll be using the mirror towels to completely cover my frame. I have a full list of all the materials I used in this video listed in the description box below. So here's the frame completely covered and looking at it, I think this will make a beautiful tray. So here's to give an idea of what it would look like as a tabletop tray. So I'll be using this clear school glue, spreading it evenly around the base. And sprinkling a little bit of glitter. This is just fine silver glitter and this crushed mirrored glass that I purchased online. I'll have the link for this down below, all over the back of my wall sconce. So be adding glitter on top just to give an extra little sparkle. I have this mason jar lid and I'm just going to be spray painting the inside black. I'm going to be covering the bottom with some reflective paper and mirrored tiles around the border of the lid. Two blocks glued together painted black and then I will be securing my lid to my two blocks 
and then adding that to my wall sconce. So here's the final look at my wall sconces. I think they came out absolutely gorgeous. Let me know down below what do you think about these two pieces and if these are something you would recreate as a wall sconce or a mirror tray. So for my second DIY, I have two packs of these bamboo skewers. I'm just going to be cutting off the point on two of these and they will be about 30 inches long. Two skewers at 25 inches. And then my third set of skewers will be at 17.5 inches. And this will be the base for my wall decor. Now I'm gonna be taking my scrap pieces and I'm just gonna be laying those down. I'm also going to be adding some of these thinner skewers. So here's the wall piece hanging on the wall without any mirrors and all I did was give it one coat of black spray paint and a coat of silver metallic spray paint. So now taking this Dollar Tree square mirror, I'm going to be gluing that down to the center. mirrors I got on Amazon. I will have the link for these down below. And I'm going to be gluing down my one inch mirrors. I'm only using hot glue for this video, but you can definitely use a dab of strong adhesive along with your hot glue for a permanent hold. So here's the final look at my wall decor with all the mirrors glued down and I think these came out absolutely gorgeous. I really love the versatility of pieces like this when you can really play around with the design and how you want to display it on the wall. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I truly appreciate your time. I hope that you are staying safe and I will talk to you in my next video.